Okay, so this one is the fifth group discussion for uh, CSL Coaching Shipyard Limited. That is what we are proceeding with. And uh, those of you who are participating in GD, they must uh, learn fast and uh, must learn the tricks of the GD. The first and the foremost trick is that you should speak, you should talk. And then there's a way to talk. There's a um, structure in uh, introduction, there's a structure in body, and then there's a structure in you know, conclusion also. So that is how we have to proceed forward now. And uh, let me give you the topic. And you know, uh, in the introduction, what is the kind of structure we have and the body and conclusion. So let me give you the topic. The topic is hard work versus smart work. Please write hard work versus smart work. There is a topic for you. Hard work versus smart work. And I give you two minutes and then I start with each one of you. Okay, so the topic is hard work versus smart work. Topic for the discussion is hard work versus smart work. So I think I start with Piyush now. Piyush, please introduce. Okay, sir. Good evening to everyone. I am Piyush Gupta and I'm really glad to take the opportunity to initiate the topic. Let me introduce all of you with the topic. The topic provided to us is a hard work versus a smart work. I personally feel both these are important. We should have a hard working skill and we should have a smart working skill to achieve a good goal. And uh, it's like if you are smart enough, you can choose a good book to study, but you are smart, but you are not putting the efforts to study the book. So you need to be hardworking also. So now I am opening the house for discussion among all of us. And I hope you will come out with a really fruitful discussion and we will reach a consensus. Thank you. Shobit. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Uh, myself, Shobit. We have a very uh, interesting topic today for discussion. Uh, that is hard work versus smart work. So we know that uh, hard work means uh, when we put extra effort, when we put extra time, when we put a lot of our effort and then uh, get the work done, that is hard work. But in case of smart work, we we have uh, we are finding out new ways to optimize uh, our time, our effort, so that we can get it done in a, uh, within less time with the more with the less effort. So in <clears throat> so. So, uh, like at certain situations, we should always look for a uh, smart uh, smart work, and certain situations we have to depend on hard work also. So, uh, I think it's uh, we should always come with a combination of both. And uh, I I am sure that most of you will have a lot of opinion. We are all uh, completed. Uh, we have put a lot of effort to uh, study and all. So we will have a fruitful discussion. And the I am opening this in uh, discussion for everyone's contribution. Thanks. Okay. Rahul? Sir. Sir, am I audible? Yes, yes. Uh, so, myself, Rahul Ramesh. So, coming into the discussion, I totally agree with the Shobit and I have a little disagreement with Piyush. Okay, so Rahul, I... uh, just wait, Rahul. This is yes. introduction. That means you are not to mention anybody else. You have to give your own introduction. So okay, take, okay. take one more moment, more moment and then I come back to you in the next okay. slide. Weber, okay. please go ahead. Weber. 
गुड इवनिंग टॉपिक विच इज हार्ड वर्क वर्सेज स्मार्ट वर्क सो एज इट से हार्ड वर्क इज की टू सक्सेस बट इन मॉडर्न एरा दिस डेफिनेशन नीड्स सम चेंज लाइक वी आर फेसिंग द वेरी टफ कंपेरिजन सो वी नीड टू ओके सो आई थिंक चरण कैन यू प्रोसीड अहेड नाउ चरण यू देयर हेलो या वेब चरण यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल वेब ऑफ बीएस गो अहेड Uh, yes sir yes sir i got disconnected okay go ahead go ahead as a uh, so we need to shift uh, towards the uh, smart work by uh, using the uh, modern day technologies uh, so uh, now i am opening the house for the discussion thank you everyone mm, okay charan no charan you are not audible so remove your plugs exit and then again come exit and again come okay rahul can you proceed yes sir uh, good good evening everyone and uh, i would uh, like to uh, introduce myself i am rahul ramesh and uh, coming to the topic hard work versus smart work i think uh, in today's uh, competitive environment smart work is what we have to uh, introduce into our uh, into because it is always said that hard work pays off but smart work, smart work pays off better that's what i i feel so uh, smart work means it is the method in which the most optimum method where we'll get the uh, most uh, highest output and hard work means we're putting on all our resources but uh, whenever we we are uh, committing a work it should be completed with a minimum resource uh, minimum uh, effort and maximum output so in this competitive world if you want to survive you have to introduce smart work rather than hard work so it is uh, in my opinion it is my, it is very important to do smart work the optimum method the the method which will give you the highest output with the least input that is what i mean by smart work okay okay so now uh, i think sachin can proceed ahead uh, good evening sir my name is sachin i uh, take the opportunity to initiate this discussion the topic given to us is uh, smart work versus hard work uh, uh, in in my point of view uh, the topic is quite uh, interesting mm. mm. smart work uh, improves the productivity uh, uh, so because it 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 requires less amount of time to uh, complete a work but uh, smart work uh, makes uh, people uh, may lazy uh, i invite all of you to participate in this discussion okay uh, so charan are you connected now Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry for the interruption. Good evening, friends. Uh, my name is Charan. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for the giving giving me this wonderful opportunity to start the JD. Uh, friends, uh, today we have the topic uh, hard work versus smart work. I think the today given topic is quite 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 interesting. So uh, I would like to uh, invite each one of you. to participate in this discussion thank you sir let's uh, let's discuss okay so i think uh, everybody has uh, completed the first round and now we enter into the second round of discussion and the uh, second round of discussion is the discussion among all of you so please unmute uh, uh, all of you and uh, this uh, session will be this uh, round will be for 10 to 15 minutes so listen to others and try to give your uh, points also and so that uh, at the end we make some kind of conclusion here so now i open the house for discussion among all of you please go ahead okay so uh, i agree to and, so with because uh, he also uh, put the same statement that i have put it he said that hard working and smart working should go in hand in hand like one of my friend 
Rahul said that we should go for the smart work. Yes, it is right. We should go for the smart work because we need to optimize the time. But the, at the same time, we have to utilize and we have to do the up, utmost level of work to complete, uh, to gain and to obtain our goal because there is a so much competition in every field. So if you are not putting a hard efforts, if you are not putting so much efforts in something, yes, you are putting the smart efforts like you are choosing the good book rather than going for 100 books, you are using just one book. Yes, it is a smart, but you should put so much efforts because competition is so high everywhere. So smart work and the hard work should go in hand in hand. Yes, please. I, 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 I think, uh, I, I think uh, hard working and, uh, and I want working to, go, uh, should go hand in hand. Points. So there are, uh, I think it depends on the kind of work we do. So in certain situations, suppose we are doing uh, one activity for first time, so we don't know uh, like how to be done. So in that situation, we may have, we cannot, uh, we don't know like what will happen uh, at the next day. So, so in those situations, I think we should go for hard work. It always depends on the kind of work. And in certain situations, if we are doing some unproductive work, like we are repeatedly doing one activity again and again. So in that situation, there is no point in doing that uh, work in a harder manner, like putting a lot of effort, putting a lot of uh, uh, money or putting a lot of time. So in those situations, we should minimize the, minimize the time, minimize the effort and uh, find a way to smartly get it done. So that's why we, now like there is a lot of discussion in uh, private com uh, in companies and all regarding the automation. So in that way, like uh, minimizing the time, minimizing the effort, minimizing the money the, and get it done by some machine or something. That is a kind of one example for smart work. So yes, I would work, like to introduce yes. that. Yes. I totally uh, agree with uh, the point. point. The, yeah, the current like point what she has told is implement of automation. That is that is the most most exact example of our today's topic, smart work. Because hard working means we have to put up our human resources, we have to put up our human uh, investments in, in using our. But introducing a smart work that is an, an automatic automatic a machine which is having high initial cost, but on the on the far run, the running cost of the machine will be very less when compared to a human human resource. So that point which is told by Sobit, that is the exact exact point is that that is a, considering our discussion now that is automation work these are all the smart works which are introduced in this century so i totally agree with sovit and uh, uh, smart work is what we have to introduce into our into our methodology so that we, we should be more productive with less resources that is the motto just like that this like of automation and the introduce introducing of newer method not yes, i agree to you i totally agree to you Rahul, yes, that in the field point. of the automation it is really good if we go for the automation, but if we change the field, like if you go for the studies, if you are preparing some competition, then along with the smart work, you have to do the hard work also. Don't you agree with this point? Because there is no, 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 I don't, I don't. It depends yes, upon the con, con, uh, It depends upon the constraint and uh, hard working. Uh, I, what I mean by smart work is you should be honest. You should be hundred percent honest in your work. You should not choose wrong methods yeah, because that is a very bad method. Gentlemen, uh, yeah, it depends. Gentlemen, sorry on for the kind of work we do. I want yeah, to uh, add uh, also, some points. We are having lot of uh, book, lot of book and like yes, yes, we are, don't know yes. what to study. Like so we are so living in the um, very competitive world. Like we are living in the very com uh, competitive world. So as we listen, uh, many toppers uh, of big exams or like CEOs of very big firms. Uh, we can find out that uh, uh, what things made him different from the rest of the world. So if we observe carefully, uh, we saw they uh, work very hard, but in the smart way, like uh, they, uh, they um, took the help of the modern technologies, uh, like, uh, uh, like uh, if we are a student, we can uh, take the help of Google and many other platforms and uh, it increased our productivity. We also saw in the, our daily life that our farmers, our workers and many other people are working uh, very hard, probably uh, more than the rest of the world. But they, yes, this but, is caused, yes, uh, they did not get what the they, yeah, they, like uh, they deserve. See, in our, uh, the topic given is hard work versus smart work. What I feel is, the, uh, the hard work means effort is more. What is a smart work? Effort is less. Hard work <laughs> requires more time and smart work requires less time. At the end of the day, efficiency are same. But how much time we are taking, how much we putting the effort is a smart work and hard work. 
but it, it does, also, does not depend upon the time also time is not the only thing it is uh, smart work we are giving is more for uh, uh, hard work efficiency i don't think it will be same like we have to yes, give uh, what i mean is time time is not the constraint for smart work smart work See, is I'm, that I'm, means that work where that yes, is man, no, lowest time no the time is not only the constraint for hard work time resources money long run uh, maintenance all are factors in, in, in hard working is not only about condition. putting the efforts hard work yes. is not limited only to the yeah. efforts it is called the consistency other. if you are consistent about something it is also called the hard work see if you could not meet through uh, in first attempt of something that you need to be consistent you have to go through it again and again and again because you want to achieve it this is called the hard work also we could not limit the definition of hard work only with the efforts hard work include the consistency hard work include the efforts also and we should that's what i am also trying to it i agree with the few in case of study for a part you made very valid point yes. but uh, we have to discuss some uh, practical aspects also as i said the farmers workers they are working more than but what is the reason they did not uh, get what they deserve because they did not uh, most of uh, in our country they did not uh, they do not use the modern technology of agriculture or uh, um, other platforms uh, they because of lack of knowledge so these uh, these things hampered their growth so uh, uh, we can provide them uh, technologies so uh, by the hard um, they are also doing hard work but due to less uh, absence of smart work they did not get what they deserve and uh, so on this side yeah, uh, uh, and and the smart work the work point, and uh, i i agree with the pius point also here yeah, uh, efficiency what, what is every output your input so input may be time also so that's what i meant otherwise uh, uh, there is no point and also one uh, what i meant totally meant is uh, once uh, our great i mean great footballer ronaldo once said talent without work is nothing so yes. there must be a hard work there must be a smart work so that uh, the thing is where we need to uh, minimize the resources where we need to minimize so that we can get the more efficiency so that's my point yes thank yes, you yes yeah, i agree with that also so there are hard certain work and the smart always work depends also on the hand kind hand of work we are doing suppose if we, if you are a footballer or if you are doing if you are a player or sportsman sportsman we have to work hard that we cannot work in a smart way like we have to work hard we have to put lot of efforts and in case of uh, students also if you have to study more more thing we have to be consistent we have to put time for we have to put lot of effort we have to learn uh, we have to read lot of books so it depends on point, the uh, kind but of but uh, one point the, which he told I about to... that i did disagree is talent he was said the word talent but talent is not a gift talent is something what you acquire by your continuous effort so by putting in effort you can develop talent talent is not gifted uh, to someone during his birth it, it can be acquired I, during I his life i did not tell talent effort. is a gift yeah, no. i did not want tell to put in the talent is a gift all of you talent comes with the work that's what i said uh, yeah like, i want to we can discuss uh, the uh, nowadays for some yeah. examples uh, is smart work as our governments uh, include digital india so uh, despite of uh, uh, many of the our government employees and uh, uh, other department uh, doing work hard but they are not productive as uh, the private companies are productive so uh, government doing digitalization so this is the example of smart work we we can convert our hard work by the technologies uh, uh, in the smart work and increase our productivity like uh, 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 many of the countries we saw the teachers uh, are was not going to the school because no one is seeing that but nowadays uh, there are biometric attendance they are going to school and teaching and uh, increase the productivity like other one departments point. also Sorry, doing the same rock. i want to put i want to raise one point in attention of all of you it's like if you are going to start a new subject if you are going to start something new then we should go for the smart work smart work is like we should plan something we should make a schedule this is the smart work and after that we should go for the hard work it's like we have to be consistent this is called yes, the by totally the hard work and the that smart is what work. that is what the discussion is smart work means first we have to find a way that is you have to think different because hard work means everybody knows it smart work means the method which nobody knows that is the optimum method so first we have to find out the smart work and then put your hard work into your smart work 
that's yeah, how that, you became more yes. i totally so, agree with that yeah, point of view i agree with that work and the smart work should always be a goal hand, oriented right? so when uh, when we on always like we should think about the final achievement what we want uh, what we want to achieve so if uh, we need to put uh, at certain areas we may have to put an extra effort we may have to go for hard work at certain areas like for uh, for example if you if you are uh, if you are a sports person at certain uh, like things there is no need to practice in certain way so if you go for a better coaching uh, you will get better so that is a kind of kind of smart work only we are optimizing that so instead of uh, uh, like uh, referring and and uh, like not so quality content so you can uh, so, in case sorry for that, interruption uh, i want to make uh, one point that uh, as a student we are uh, all student as a students uh, how, uh, we are also increasing our productivity like uh, 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 we made uh, earlier we made our uh, hard copy notes on the hard copy but now we have our laptops we have our tablets and we directly making notes on these and edit these and uh, uh, this uh, also save our times and increase the productivity and one point i want yeah, to raise is I like the raul said the that we should go for the, the what i feel uh, uh, sorry for the interruption mm-hmm. uh, the given topic mm-hmm. is slightly wherever the hard work is eliminate we, we can eliminate the some hard work for example uh, we can deliver the rations to our uh, to the homes so that uh, by, by queuing uh, uh, we can minimize the queue and we can minimize the corruption also there there is a smart work so that is the implementation of smart work rather than hard work yes so that is all i yeah, think yes, that i want to develop yeah. just the example what we quoted that is the automation uh, introducing automation in place of human resource that is the perfect example of our today's debate uh, smart work yes so automation is one aspect where is the smart work is needed but if we go in the life of student in that the hard work plays a main role it's like a uh, consistent it, it, it all so, all condition yeah, depend upon factors yes, the, in the different uh, areas there are different need of uh, hard work and there is a different need of smart work if you go for the some aspect it is we should prefer the smart work in some aspect we should prefer the hard work and there should be a balance between the hard work and the smart work i think this is all we had agreed till now yes, yes. i would like to take this opportunity to conclude this debate that Uh, this is the, the statement told by piyush uh, this is the perfect conclusion of what i think sorry to interrupt but i think sir will tell us when we have oh, to sir, conclude sir. sorry sir my first class i don't know i thought okay. it is real debate okay so you people are ready for conclusion <laughs> now so let us start with piyush okay sorry sir i thought uh, this direct sorry sir no, no issue so i think piyush can conclude now Okay friends let me take the opportunity to conclude our discussion though it was a really fruitful discussion it was a smooth discussion sometimes there was a turbulence but we all reached with a consensus that there must be a balance between the hard work and the smart work in some aspect we should prefer the smart work and in some aspect we should prefer the hard work but these hard work and the smart work should go hand in hand thank you okay now i go to shobit yeah we had a very good discussion on on uh, on the hard work versus smart work and everybody has contributed well and uh, like uh, rahul has pointed out regarding the automation the importance of automation and uh, like that is the kind of smart work we do and uh, so that is like uh, where the hard work uh, uh, smart work is both beneficial and wife uh, has pointed out the issues of farmers where they even though they are doing hard work they are not getting enough benefit so that is also like a kind of uh, area which smart work shall be can be implemented and uh, like uh, similarly our uh, charan has pointed out regarding the uh, for, like one example he has given about uh, the footballer uh, so he is putting a hard work lot of hard work so the final conclusion will be like uh, like hard work is required and smart work is required it both should go hand in hand so that is the uh, i think the final conclusion which everybody has uh, uh agreed and contributed well thanks okay now uh, web of uh, uh, i am very glad uh, to taking the responsibility to conclude our discussion we have very good discussion and uh, i uh, made some point to conclude that, uh, this uh, discussion uh, like uh, smart work is necessary but without hard work it is waste Uh, like sobit made some relevant points uh, like uh, the automation is one of the best example in the smart work and charan also uh, told talent without hard work 
is nothing nothing important and uh, he made also point that corruption and many other irregularities controlled by the smart work of uh, uh, our government and uh, rahul also told how we should think about uh, uh, how we uh, can manage our hard uh, how we convert our hard work into the smart work so in this way uh, we had very good discussion thank you everyone okay charan uh, yes uh, thank you first of all uh, i would like to say thank you to all for the participation and now i would like to take the opportunity to conclude this uh, uh, healthy discussion so at the end uh, at the end abuse uh, said uh, work and uh, smart work and hard work uh, should go hand, hand in hand i totally agree with that point because uh, both are necessary nowadays uh, with uh, and uh, also shobhit also said that automation uh, is the best example for the smart work in replacement of the hard work because of the productivity we can increase and also vibe told about some governments uh, need to smart enough uh, to take to replace some uh, hard hard works so i to i i really enjoy this meeting so uh, thank you so much okay now i think rahul uh, can uh, conclude yes uh, i think uh, very gladful to conclude this uh, heated uh, uh, good discussion and uh, we had a very turbulent uh, discussion and after that uh, we got into a conclusion that smart work is what we have to do when uh, when there is a way we should we should be more inclined towards smart work such like a very good point in the uh, told by sobit about automation and vibe also quoted a very good examples of for students also so i think whenever there is a there is an opportunity to do a work in a smart way we should proceed in it and when whenever it is no whenever there is no, no other smart work way possible we should we go to do the the hard work so uh, i would uh, we had a very heated into uh, argument thank you thank you all okay now uh, sachin Uh, I take the opportunity to uh, conclude this, this discussion. Uh, we have uh, many important points discussed, uh, but we couldn't uh, reach a solution. Uh, I, in my opinion, uh, in uh, we concluded that uh, whether hard work or smart work, it depends depends upon what uh, what we need to do. That's it. Okay. so so now uh, let me uh, uh, i think con- let me give you the feedback each one of you as you know i give you the feedback in uh, for three different sections and uh, minimum level uh, from where you think you should start is 6 and uh, you have to go up to the level of 7.5 and 8 so beyond 6 every point is important like 0.5 6.5 7 7.5 that actually you have to acquire so anything less than 7.5 means you are to prepare and uh, for going for actual the gd and anything less than 6 means worrisome you have to really do something so that you can enter drastically something wrong you have to and uh, improve upon it so for piyush i will give uh, for introduction body and uh, for conclusion i will give 7 7 and 6 so piyush ka introduction is good he has learned those lines and uh, he started with those uh, lines which are required and then seven for body pius kept on talking in between listen to others and talked also conclusion may he did not include the point of view of others and that was the reason he is not getting uh, good uh, is getting only six for that now when i come to shobit shobit gets seven six and seven shobit uh, participated in the body little less his conclusion was good he could include the point of view of others his introduction was also good so show the uh, point is also good uh show with defined hard work and smart work that difference so i i want to tell you one more thing like whenever you get this kind of topic you can always define the terms also in the introduction show with started defining the terms like friends the topic given here is smart work and hard work so let me first define these terms so that our discussion becomes easier hard work means this smart work means this that is how shobit started and i think that was okay piyush uh, mentioned about the uh, both both are important that is from where piyush started both are important and we need to make a balance or something webhub ko i will give 
and five and six. Five in intro, five in body, and six in conclusion. Uh, Weber, you need to learn those couple of lines in the beginning. Practice it so that it come with speed, as I told you. And body also, you need to uh, participate, and you need to participate with full energy. And do not see your notes and uh, talk. You just uh, talk with, by maintaining eye contacts. So it should not look like you're reading from the copy or something. That is something which you can prevent. And you said hard work is the key. Yes, that uh, line is okay. But uh, somewhere, I mean, discussion was not that uh, communicative. It was not two-way process. It was looking one-way process. So when you are talking web up, it is looking like it is a one-way process, not a two-way process. Charan, uh, maybe you need to improve a lot. So it is four for you. And in between, I'm not giving you anything. And it is then five. So body me, you were not participating. So four for introduction, you could not speak much and five for conclusion. Again, that was not much participation from you. So worrisome for you, you are to work out uh, for introduction part and all and learn those lines so that you can enter. Rahul has got seven, seven and seven. Rahul has got uh, equal in all the three sections. So it was the first uh, GD by you Rahul and you have done good. So, but only thing is you need to uh, work out more. Because uh, in the sense that uh, you have to improve upon the things like uh, what are the deficiencies on which you have to work. Like introduction part, you have to make better. A couple of lines you have to, you know, add those lines which is structure, follow the structure. And uh, after that, in the body part also, you need to listen. Sir, to sir, part of it. Sir, I don't understand what is meant by body. Body means structure, structure of uh, introduction. So uh, those videos you have to watch, how to start GD. How the to right start. started class today. What are those videos? Could you please tell? You will get that in the you know common group. You ask okay. the executive to okay. share with you some common. I joined it today morning. Okay, not a problem. So you start listening to that. Okay, okay, thank you. And uh, that uh, structure you have to follow of GD, right? Body may what you have to speak. Body means second part, introduction, body, and then conclusion. So how you have to talk to others. You need to increase your, you know, you need to uh, listen to others also. So when you are assertive, it should not look like you becoming aggressive also. Yeah, sorry, becoming sorry. assertive and becoming aggressive, these two are different things. Sorry, so sorry. You need to things on that also. And the rest is, uh, I think, work out, uh, make more practice, things will improve. Sir, sir, what about, yeah. sir, sir in, a, in a GD, I think what is the optimum time we should enter? At one or two or how many times we should enter into a discussion? Uh, maybe three minimum. Minimum three. Mm. Three okay, minimum and you. maximum five. Maximum. Thank you, sir. Then Sachin, I think it is again, for Sachin, it is the first time and uh, you could not speak much. So four and uh, second section, I body may have not given you anything because you did not participate. And four in the conclusion. So four, zero, four. That is what uh, you have got. Uh, yes, you need to and avoid speaking something negative like smart work may make you lazy or something like that. Don't uh, use these terms in the introduction. Just uh, speak, uh, if possible, positive uh, things only, right? Now, Sachin, you need to talk. So Sachin and Charan, you need to talk. You need to follow the you know pattern, uh, how to start the GD, how you have to speak a couple of lines, those things you have to learn. And in the body also, you have to listen to others and communicate. Why Sachin and Charan, you are sitting idle during discussion, you have to talk. Talk anything, but you need to speak. Actually, the question is turbulent. I cannot uh, get it is not turbulent. So it is not turbulent. You go on your video and find what the turbulence is. So people like, literally fight actually. It is very, very smooth, I tell you. Very right. ultra smooth. This discussion was very, very ultra smooth. Everybody is speaking and saying sorry, excuse me, and all. <laughs> so in the in the turbulent, turbulent, you 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 know you are ready to bite each other. <laughs> so that also is there. You see on the Europedia, if you see the GDs, you'll find what is this happening? Is are they crazy or what? They'll not let you speak. <laughs> so that also, I think um, Keralaites, you know, people from Kerala, they're very cool and calm and. <laughs> They are not uh, that way fighting, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, Rahul. Yeah, yes, yeah, I am from Kerala. Uh, so, majority of you are from Kerala. So, yeah, you are not fighting and all these yeah. things. 
but you know there are some exams in which all over india students come like you know iucl or ongc or this uh, hpcl you will find people are fighting iucl and all so that is how uh, yeah sir i have one question sir, uh, yes yes go on sir i have one question that which you told us the couple of lines which we need to uh, remember in the introduction part and after the introduction part when we have to talk about a topic like hard work versus smart work so how much time you should take in that to See, elaborate or the rule is put... like uh, thumb rule is that try to summarize it early because other fellow may cut you if other fellow does not cut you you keep on speaking till you want but so, normally so... they will cut you soon so uh, you should master such that your line should come fluently they will give you maybe maximum 1 minute to speak other candidates and then they will cut you so try to complete your you know introduction within 1 minute 1 and 1/2 minute if you get bonus nobody interferes keep speaking what is the trouble so sir like the topic sir i must we have yes charan yeah sure yeah sure you can you can continue ah uh, okay thank you so i was asking like uh, when you give us the topic we got the so many matters in our mind so in the introduction part we can put all those matter or we should keep it so there are the thumb rules no the thumb rule is like i told you whenever some topic is given just ask yourself can you dissect that that topic into categories if you cannot dissect that in categories at least you can define them the way shobhit did in this i cannot dissect hard work smart work they are two different entities so at least i can define this now what can be the best way to introduce for this was good evening friends my name is sachin and uh, uh, let me thank you for the opportunity and uh, let me introduce all of you to the topic friends the topic given is hard work versus smart work very interesting topic and uh, worth uh, discussing so friends uh, in my opinion hard work and smart work are the two sides of the coin these move parallel these two uh, things should move parallel uh now hard work friends if i define it is like effort and smart work is like strategy and direction to that effort now they both are complementary and not supplementary one without other may not give us output so friends uh, i think we should take our entire discussion in the direction of the relevance and importance of each one with another you remove one and effect will not be produced so we should discuss uh, further in the direction where we should explain the relevance of both and maybe we can uh, explain it through example now i open the house for the discussion among all of you so what i have done is i have defined hard work is effort smart work is strategy or uh, you know direction hard work is like cake so it is cherry smart work is cherry on the cake there is no substitute of hard work we have learned this there is no substitute of hard work we have never learned there is no substitute of smart work there is a substitute of smart work what is that hard work if you don't do smart work even hard work can make you survive but person only with smart work cannot survive smart work is always strategy strategy comes after you execute it comes during execution or when you execute so planning and strategy are part of smart work so friend let me give you example you are a very good worker that means you are a hard worker then you are a very good manager you are a smart worker also what is the difference between a good effort oriented worker and uh, you know a good strategist manager manager is a you know smart worker also because there is always a resource optimization and innovativeness creativity in the smart work but there is no uh, substitute to hard work actually before a person learns smart work person should learn hard work so what rahul was telling he was focusing more on smart work rahul believe me smart work comes later on yes sir it it does not come in the beginning so i have not uh, come across any fellow who is a smart worker but not hard worker actually you need to be hard worker both goes simultaneously okay okay sir <clears throat> so if you <clears throat> if you say a person is smart worker not hard worker that means he is you know shrewd kind of person <clears throat> so this thing may not ever work you should not procrastinate you cannot be lazy 
lazy person cannot be smart worker actually so you understand so smart work comes later there has to be cake and then cherry you bring cherry only don't forget about the cake i will not relish it actually the, the phrase is cherry on the cake the phrase is not cake below cherry you understand <laughs> it is not sir, cake below I cherry one, i have one doubt yeah sir when starting of a gd we can uh, we can when when they say start we can start the gd and uh, in, in between the timing we managing the timing we can enter also but mm. what when we will know the correct timing to conclude that how no, no, we... that the, he will tell that observer oh. will tell you oh, so internet. just 10 15 minutes when 10 15 minutes are over just wait he will say conclude and then you jump to the conclusion don't what, I, what i have done is uh, uh, you have told me 10 minutes gd so i started looking on the clock so i, I approx 10 minutes I, i took the opportunity so i should not do it in there no no they will tell you to conclude then only i should take yes, the sir. yes yes sir one more thing i want to ask sir one thing i want to ask you yes yes uh, sir you said uh, i did not uh, uh, in, i did not well in the introduction part uh, uh, i don't know why uh, my friends and you uh, audible or not literally okay. i by not the thumb rule points today uh, i mean i put a hard work rather than smart work today but uh, you said uh, <laughs> there is no thumb rule but i don't know why it is audible to you or not no no but i think uh, charan uh, you have not uh, spoken much about the topic i suppose did you say some, something about hard work versus smart work as a topic in during your introduction yes sir i told i, I i here i would like to tell you what i told you uh-huh, uh, hard work means effort is more and smart work is effort is less and and hard work takes more time smart work takes less time at the end of the day hard work if you take uh, same efficiency we put more effort and more time in hard work in we put less effort and le- less time in smart work that's what i said okay i think this is a recording this is getting recorded you check it on your own later on right once it is there you check whether you have used these things sentences in or all in my opinion you spoke very less about you know your uh, this part so just uh, listen to this recording later on and do the analysis okay. right so that's what and also you i told you point whether it is correct or not sir i want to ask you it's it's uh, okay matlab it's not it is neither wrong nor correct see yes. it is right there is wrong and then there is a thing which is called neither right nor wrong so that yes. does not fetch you marks actually yes. you, you speak for the sake of speaking but it does not hit uh, you know the right chords neutral kind okay. of things hmm? so charan you need okay. to go beyond a level okay sir uh, sir uh, i want to ask about my content in the body part like uh, it is okay or i need to work See, very content okay. is okay but whether there are two issues one is the way you are speaking it is not looking like it is not looking like you are communicating with others it is like you are speaking like you are speaking to yourself not to the group that is one trouble pace is very small pace is very low there is another issue content wise i don't have issue with the, your content that is okay even the same content spoken in uh, nicely you will get one one more mark Uh, sir i i am not very fluent in english that's why my pace becomes slow mm. and so, this is all about speaking actually gd so i also uh, note note down the uh, uh, others comment that's why i mm, looking below mm. uh, because uh, i need to mention that in conclusion yesterday no, you said make a balance between making the eye contacts and writing on the copy you need to make a balance between the two sir when one person is speaking what should we do we should listen to him or yes yes should you should listen to voice. him you should nod and you should it should look like you are listening to him or we should not make our own points you can make your points also simultaneously but uh, you need to make a balance between the two right i have a doubt in actual gd also uh, they will give initially they will give a time to uh, think and note note it down or uh, it will immediately yeah they give you time they give you to before starting they give you 2 minutes well uh, that time also we can uh, like note it down like paper yes, and yes. pen yes, is yes. there yes paper and pen is there yes okay. paper and pen is provided that is given to you okay 
right so this uh, kind of topics no smart work hard work and then again now uh, the same topic you will write in your page and you will send it to me practice more and more writing okay. and you know don't you worry even immediately after gate exam also we will have intensive uh, gds and this thing if anyone of you is writing gate and because of that is not in position to prepare then immediately after gate also i'll give you multiple slots keep learning and keep understanding what are the pattern is it is not difficult actually you can know see if you know your limitation my limitation is i am not entering in the uh, body part start entering what is the trouble hmm. yes sir uh, sir uh, when is the right time to take a mock interview i mean full mock interview just uh, two days before your final interview uh, okay a uh, only one mock uh, mock is uh, enough or is there is any anything we need to improve we can attend a second also or is it only See, mock is time? mock is only to give you a feel of actual situation yes but for preparation you need to go for snaps okay sir. one subject what about this hmm. what about hr sir hr is also what snap you know hr is also snap okay hmm. <coughs> right this is how you have to proceed sir, so prepare uh, how yes. how many gds we will get in this see i think there is a limit of 5 or something but i have not five. kept any limit okay you should improve yourself in 5 gds actually but i have not kept as such limit you should prepare sir i have a request if possible after a gate exam please take multiple gds if you yeah. really have yes practice. yes it can be done have we have decided that in one day also we can do 3 gds and all that is not a problem after yes, gate sir. not that yes. what will problem you can do that only thing is you learn it learn it is not difficult learn it make a strategy make notes okay see everybody is zero level but with the passage of time improvement should be there if you know this is my limitation try to work on that ah uh, yes sir i want to ask one more one more question hmm. uh, here what, what happens is uh, someone like uh, sorry for the rahul uh, someone like rahul he is so aggressive and intensive so sometimes uh, we feel that uh, sir that uh, i want to am i over aggressive Okay, let yes, Charan speak. Uh, yeah, I feel so. <laughs> let Charan yes, speak. Yes, sir. Mm. Uh, someone like uh, Rahul, uh, maybe in our interview panel, uh, someone like the that kind of person is so aggressive, and uh, um, he he someone he, if he not agree with our point, so how can we uh, let him down? Or uh, I mean, let him. Pull his, pull his legs and drop him. <laughs> How can he attack Rahul? If you sit in the chair, you pull Charan. Pull his legs and drop him in the chair. He is asking the techniques yes, to attack Rahul. If Rahul comes, I will do that. <laughs> See, the point is number one. Number one, Rahul was not actually aggressive. I tell you honestly, uh, in this GD, he was assertive. He was putting his point. He will get marks actually. Second uh, is second is he, he was not aggressive only. He speaking. gets lot. he was not stopping you from speaking you could have spoken actually you re- listen the recording once again they you could have uh, sufficient uh, sufficiently easily you could have entered number 3 if he has he is making some point you don't agree to him very learn certain sentences that rahul uh, what you are saying uh, uh, i don't think that is correct yeah rahul you are debating from the topic rahul uh, i don't think you are correct so learn these sentences if you want to tell rahul something if he is speaking something you don't agree to him then you learn the sentence okay rahul uh, whatever you are saying i am sorry but i do not agree to what you are saying this line should come with energy and wrote memorize such lines see rahul you are debating from the topic i don't think this is the topic you learn this line and if you find he is debating from the topic you say this okay rahul whatever you are saying can you give some example and that will put rahul in you know defensive uh, mode because if he may not be having any kind of example rahul saying no no smart work is better rahul do you really think smart work is better than hard work you will say yes can you give example rahul and then you know he is in defensive position because you are playing a role of only asking question the way a teacher will ask you in the viva even if he does not know the answer you know he will ask you a question and then you are nervous so you know these kind of tricks to make some, to make somebody stop even though we we, we don't have an answer we should ask a yes question. but because he is he is stressing rahul i don't agree that smart work is better than hard work 
uh, can you give example where you can prove your point rahul he will not say okay i don't have uh, uh, example do you have you say i don't have that is the reason i'm asking i don't agree to what you are saying you understand this is how you can snub yes. somebody you need to know oh. these tricks you can snub oh, that so so what you are selling is if someone yes. in in a group discussion is becoming very difficult to handle just ask questions towards him shoot questions towards him ha huh, not shooting you can you can stop him stop okay him. rahul uh, very well said but i don't agree with you rahul rahul you are uh, i don't think you are debating from the topic the moment you tell somebody you are debating from the topic he will stop he will become conscious thank you yes. so that is that is how i think you can make somebody stop so you need not to be over energetic to stop somebody you need to tell certain things and remember revise those things do r and d do think keep thinking that how we are to participate give your heart and soul to you know this so, thing to doing. prepare for gd what should be what are the steps we should follow to prepare for gd see i told you you watch those three videos which i have given and yeah. listen to the you will be there in the group i i i joined today so the, that video tell, tell shivani ma'am in the group ma'am please share the videos which are already shared in the group earlier before you joined she will reshare it Okay. Done. Chalo, then I take yes. leave of you. Keep preparing okay. it, and write up. Make a write up. Send this write up uh, on the common group. I will find the time and I'll give the feedback to each one of your write ups. Right. So Thank just so write much. it religiously. Do it activity. This is your GD. This is your interview, not my interview. So you have to take it very very seriously, more than my me. Right. Do it very very seriously. All the things. Thank right? you. Thank you. So okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.